My name is Sarah. <sighs> this poem is titled, I Don't Smoke, But I Think Cigarettes Are Poetic. I left lipstick on that cigarette, the first one I'd ever tasted. White against yellow against red, my fingers hid the lines of color separation. Take a drag, they said. Hold it in. I wrapped my lips around that stick and watched golden embers awaken from my breath. Smoke twist and rise from sucking on the death of burning paper and tobacco. Bitter coils hit my lungs like a prize fighter's fists hit the man who hit on his wife and I coughed and spit trying to rid my taste buds of that poisonous shit but man, did it make my head spin. The way a cigarette could delicately balance between two bruised knuckles, the way it traveled between hands and mouths that breathed in the same smoke but exhaled different stories of dancing snakes and houses burned down, it fascinated me. This feeling pulled at the corners of my mouth, making it easier to smile about nothing. I haven't done that in so long. Sickening, yet so easily remembered as the comforting touch of a past lover that left too soon. And I tried forgetting how the trail of smoke burned my eyes, and I blamed it on the moon staring unblinkingly downwards like it knew that I didn't believe in life after death. I was never addicted to the feeling a cigarette sparked inside me, but rather how it was an author that wrote the story of each mouth it touched, how it caused people to run from the rain for fear of letting the drops drown the dimples of fire glowing like raccoons' eyes in the dark. I saw something eerily poetic about the way a peace symbol could willingly clamp down onto something so toxic. And when there is nothing left, but the last breath of smoke curling up around tired eyes and the little yellow stump ground into the earth like the seed of a tree. I can taste the air as it always has been. I can finally savor the storm. Thank you.